This is Streamline News for Thursday, October 28th, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Fran Crippen's body is on its way back to the United States today as his family prepares for Saturday's funeral at St. Matthew's Roman Catholic Church in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. The University of Virginia's women's swim team has canceled their trip to Dallas for the SMU Classic in order to attend the funeral. Claire Crippen, one of the Crippen children, is a senior on the Virginia swim team, and Fran is an alumnus as well. The men's swim team at Virginia will hold their dual meet against Navy Friday as scheduled and will hold a moment of silence before the meet. If you're near an ocean, lake, or river Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, you can participate in the Facebook event called Worldwide Tribute to Fran Crippen. Spread some rose petals on the water and post a photo of your memorial on the Worldwide Tribute to Fran Crippen Facebook page. Meanwhile, FINA has announced the five members of the task force that will investigate the circumstances that led to Crippen's death last Saturday. One member will be a part of an international life-saving organization. One will be an expert in cardiology and sports medicine with an emphasis on sudden deaths. One will be a FINA lawyer, and the other two will be appointed by United States Aquatic Sports and USA Swimming. Yesterday, we learned of another swimmer who died suddenly and unexpectedly. Jose Navarro collapsed on the pool deck at St. Xavier High School in Cincinnati Tuesday during a swim practice with the Cincinnati Marlins and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Navarro was celebrating his 18th birthday on Tuesday and had just finished his high school career as a water polo player for Sycamore High School and was preparing for the high school swim season. The cause of death has not yet been released and he will be laid to rest Saturday morning in Cincinnati. Swimming Canada has released the list of swimmers attending the short course world championships in Dubai and our neighbors to the north will be going without Britton Hayden who told the media after the Commonwealth Games that he elected to begin preparations for next year's long course world championships. Ryan Cochran, the fastest distance swimmer in the pool this year, also is not attending. Anime Pierce, who is recovering from illness, will race in Dubai and be looked to lead the other 15 Canadians racing in the meet. That's Streamline News for today. We'll see you next time.